Welcome back, this is Yamajack, and today is uh, Gunslinger Steam Fortress Suicidal. And let me let me tell oh my god. <laughs> just scared the crap out of me. One of my phones just fell off of my other phone. And it scared the absolute bejeebus out of me. So today today is Wednesday. And uh, it's ten AM. I got up at eight thirty. I'm back to bed for another hour. Uh, for some reason, I felt like I went back to bed because I played a, a hammer uh, flute, and uh, that took an hour for me to be finished in my sleep, which is what it felt like um, when I woke up. And then I'm realizing now, as I'm as I'm saying this, uh, as I'm talking about it, rather, that uh, like, what? <laughs> the no, it's not quite no. Um, but anyway. I uh, woke up at 8:30. Went back to bed for an hour because I don't know. I just I fell back asleep, and uh, it's 10 o'clock now. So I uh, you know got up, did all my stuff, and it's 10 o'clock. I'm getting to recording. What what do I have to record for today? Oh well, you know, not much. Just two KF2 episodes, and that's it. Because because uh, yesterday I recorded four gunfire reports. And five Yamajack tries. I got all of my content other than the KF2 done uh, by Tuesday this week. So today, Wednesday, I only have to record two KF2. Tomorrow and Friday, I only have to record three KF2. And then that's it. Like that That's all of the recording I have to do. That saves me so much time on these days. And that's super, super cool. So I, uh, like, like, like I slept in. And I, like, you know, relaxed for a while, and then I got to, uh, I'm recording right now, I'm going to be done by probably about 10.30, or 10.40, 10.50-ish. Go upstairs, get started on making some some stir-fry for, for lunch, making a, a big stir-fry. It's going to take a, a bit, and I want to make that left in the uh, in the fridge. Be able to watch some YouTube videos. Your Northern Lines probably got a new Isaac video or something up that I can go watch. Um, I've got uh, you know a bit of RuneScape that I'm gonna go play afterwards. Gonna be reading a whole bunch. Might play some Gunfire Reborn. Uh, and then after you know, I just relax like nobody's business for a while. I get to go. Uh, I s I heard it. I just, we're standing on stairs, you can't really avoid it on stairs. Um, after all that relaxing, after all that crazy relaxing, I could have avoided that one, I just didn't notice that one. Um, after all that crazy relaxing, you know, I get to uh, finally start the stream, because at that point it'll probably only be about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And I'm just like, it's insane, dude. It's so nice. It's so nice to have all this time. It really, really is. No really really cool and now don't get me wrong yesterday sucked because I got up at uh, I started recording at like quarter to actually you know what we can I can even show you dude I can even show you hold up let's see let's see let's see um, this is all stuff I'm okay with showing I think right yeah so you can see, first video, 9.48 a.m. And then approximately every half an hour, there's a new one. We took a break here for, for lunch. And then, you know, every half hour, streamed here. And then, you know, every half hour, another video. Until, like, 9 o'clock at night. Like, almost, like, 11 hours of recording with, like, a brief break before and after stream. A brief break for lunch right about here. It's actually a pretty decent break for, for lunch there. But, you know, this is obviously like a half an hour long. So it ends at like, you know, quarter after 11 or something like that. But And then, uh, or no, I guess that's when it ends, right? Yeah, that's that's when it ended. So, yeah, so there, there's a break here, but this one would have started like a half an hour earlier is uh, the way it goes. So it's like the, the, the break is a half an hour shorter than it seems anyway. But, like, that's that's the recording that I got done yesterday, and 
that's an insane amount of recording <laughs> to have done in uh, in one day. So I was tired and in a lot of pain because I've I've still got the like the the, the little the little wound on the roof of my mouth from when I burnt it. I tell you, it is raw. <laughs> it is raw and like so sore and it like last night especially it was so painful just like talking or like swallowing or anything was like so so painful again wasn't uh, wasn't a problem um, but it was very painful like right now I um, it, it's it's still sore and still in pain but like you know it's fine it's getting better um, so like I'm, I'm not I'm not like pushing myself to uh, to points where I shouldn't be pushing myself to um, but I am in pain <laughs> or it was yesterday at least and not just a small amount of pain but like a lot of pain <laughs> like like a, a, a lot of pain it was very very painful um, but I think it was worth it I think it was a fair trade because uh, today is is just so nice Honestly, like I'm looking forward to it so much. Tomorrow, same kind of thing. You know, we're gonna be doing uh, some RuneScape tomorrow, and like I don't know, maybe I maybe I make the streams longer. <laughs> like, like I just I have so much free time on these days that I'm like I don't know what to do with it all. I've been I haven't had I haven't had this much free time in well like a month and a bit. <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's crazy. Cause I got basically Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of like. No work to do, really. Uh, Wednesday streams are a little... Like, they're my least favorite stream right now because I'm not having so much fun with Death's Gambit. I like the game. I think it's a fantastic game. It's really, really good. And I'm having, actually, like, significantly more fun now with the, uh... With the, like, speedrunning attempts, honestly. But... Um... I, I am getting a little bit bored of it. But, like, I want the achievements. So I'm, I'm gonna continue pushing forward through it. Um, you know, that's, that's, that's what we're going to be doing. I'm going for all the achievements. You are a problem, okay? I want all the achievements. We're going to be pushing through it. Even though I'm not having super fun, you know, with it, uh, that's okay. Uh, because when I'm done, it's going to be, like, really, really cool to have that, uh, all those achievements marked off. Also, how's the, um, spreadsheet going? Oh, I didn't do it last night. I was, I was working like a dog last night, dude. And uh, I didn't get it done today. Maybe I have like so much free time today. Like, yeah, <laughs> so so doable. Uh, I have like a billion thumbnails to make today, though, because you know all those clearly not uploaded yet. So, um, yeah, there's uh, there's some some work to be done on that. Got to make thumbnails for all of those and titles and descriptions and scheduling and all that. And you know, each one of those takes probably about. On average, three to four minutes. We'll have uh, 14 videos to do today. I mean, you can do the math. <laughs> it's it's there, there's there's quite a bit of time invested in there. But that's like uh, any time before like eight o'clock tonight that it has to be done. Cause, uh, one of those videos is uh, is live tonight. Um, but you know, it's all good. I don't think the commentary really suffered in those videos either. I was uh, I was tired, but I was still commentating. I was still talking. Stuff I left the Amajack tries for for the end, um, just because I feel like the uh, the commentary in the Amajack tries is a little bit easier to do because I do want to be talking about the game um, because like it's about the game. <laughs> that's that's the point of the the series, right? Um, so I feel like the commentary kind of didn't suffer too much for it. I'm not sure if I'll do it again. Um, I think I am going to move my schedule around a little bit to, to make it to kind of like front load a lot of what I do because it is really really nice to be on a Wednesday here and and have like almost nothing to do other than stream that is really 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 nice um, yeah shoot me dude shoot me uh, that is really really nice so I do want to uh, to front load stuff going forward. I'm not sure if I'm gonna get everything done by Wednesday. Maybe maybe leave like a couple of Yamajack tries for Wednesday. 
and like a gunfire reborn for Thursday or something like that, but like take off a huge load of uh, of the recording that needs to be done for uh, the back half of the week could be could be pretty cool. I'm not sure. I'll have to I'll have to think it up and, and worry about it. Uh, also, the other thing is I did have like only eight videos recorded on Monday and then twelve videos recorded on. Uh, on Tuesday, yeah, you do the math. You can get ten videos recorded on both of those days and get the same amount of content recorded ultimately, right? So I could have, I could have split the workload a little bit better across the two days that I was doing it anyway. Um, so maybe next week we'll try that. Ten videos on Monday, ten videos on Tuesday, and then uh, I don't know, four videos Wednesday and four videos Thursday, and then no videos on Friday. Just stream and finish up the day. Possibly. I think the 9 mil is actually more damaging than the AR-15 for us. Um, could, could be good. I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. But it's, 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 it's like, I'm looking at the time. It's 10 o'clock. Oh, I love that. Uh, I'm looking at the time. It's 10 o'clock, you know. And all I can think about is how much time I have left after this. So I really, really want to keep this feeling going. Um, uh, going forward, just because, it, like... I can't begin to explain how how incredibly nice it is to have hours and hours and hours of free time on uh, on days when I'm streaming. Because I could go shopping today if I wanted to. I could I could play like Dungeons and Dragons if I wanted to with some friends. You know. Oop, I'm out. See ya. I could play Dungeons and Dragons on a day like this. I could uh, like there. I have I have. It's just so much free time is is really what it boils down to, right? And uh, where are you going? I really just I don't want to get rid of it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's nice. It's nice. It's really really nice. But we'll uh, we'll see. I do have to get that uh, spreadsheet made up again. Like I said, I have a lot of free time today. I might do it today. Uh, I'll have even more free time tomorrow because I don't have as many thumbnails to make. I only have, you know, the three thumbnails to make on uh, on Thursday tomorrow. So could be cool to do it tomorrow instead, uh, just because I have a, a little bit more free time. But I also kind of want to. I mean, the other thing is, is this is kind of giving me more option, more uh, time to work on my voice too, um, which is is cool. So <laughs> you know that that's that's cool, right? I have. A lot more time to work on the voice, because uh, like that's what's kind of been bugging me lately. Is is I mean, well, there's a lot of things that are bugging me really, um, but like that's that's one of the things that's bugging me is uh, is I don't have time to work on my voice. I just I don't have the time. I like you know okay maybe maybe I have like some free time that I've uh, been using not working on my voice, but it's like I just don't want to talk anymore, <laughs> you know, and. Uh, I just uh, I don't I don't I haven't been working on my voice like at all in uh, in quite a while actually, and I really really need to be is the thing I really need to be. So I'm like I'm not far off at this point from you know I actually use my my uh, my feminine voice when I'm talking to people at times, um, and uh, you know nobody complains about it. I actually like it it's it's in use at this point. So uh, a little bit more practice just to get to a uh, you know that those those final few steps to, to to kind of finish it off would be very very nice to to have done, and I have the time for that now. So you know I can I can work on that and kind of budget some time into the day on uh, maybe Thursdays and Fridays to to kind of work on the voice and, and get that to a point where we're uh, where we're happy with it. Because um, yeah, that's one of the things that's really bothering me lately is. Uh, my voice. Um, I wouldn't say that I have like. I was talking to, um, to one of my trans friends the other day, and uh, she saw a picture of my hand. I put some uh, some lotion on the back of my hand, and uh, sent a picture of that to some friends because they wanted to know if uh, if the lotion I used was green on the inside or if the bottle was green and the the lotion was some other color. So I put some lotion on the back of my hand and I sent them a picture of it so they could see for themselves what color it was. And it was just a uh, uh, like a. Um, Dad used to have one of those. Yeah, well, uh, like like paint, like white paint, you know, is what it kind of looked like. Um, she shoots, she 
and uh, my hand, the back of my hand is 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 fairly hairy. <laughs> so she was like, "How can you not shave every day and still feel good?" And I'm like, "I don't know. I just you, there, there was a time in my life where I I cared about those types of things, and uh, I just don't anymore. You know, like it's like I get it. You know, I get it. She's she's uh, she's trans. I'm trans." Um, and she has, you know, dysphoria about it and all this kind of stuff, and it's bothering her and, and blah, 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 right? And it makes sense, you know? Uh, I used to have similar kinds of feelings, um, where, you know, you have, you have that dysphoria. You feel just, I don't know how to describe the feelings of dysphoria. Like, it's, it's, a uh, it's just this, like, feeling in your, in the, like, very essence of your being that's just like, no, this is, like, wrong, like, desperately wrong. And there, you have to change this. This has to change. It's like, um, I don't know. The, the, the closest thing I could think it is, is like, I don't know, like, like if you have like OCD or something like that, like the way that people describe that, where when they, when they see their, their thing, like I know that some people, you know, you, you see an A and you have to touch it. And it's just like, no, you have to touch it. Right? And if you don't touch it, the world ends. Right? If you ever, if you ever, thanks phone. If you ever have somebody who, who like has OCD, or if you have OCD, or uh, if, if you ever have had somebody explain what that kind of feels like, it, it feels kind of similar to what, what I... I don't have OCD, so I don't know exactly, but it feels kind of similar to, to how people explain it to me, where it's, it's just this feeling that you get when when you think about the, 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 the like masculine aspects of you, or when you notice them, that uh, is just, like, wrong. It's just it's wrong and uh, it's, it's this feeling of like just wrongness to it you know and and, it, and it, it's it's a super super highly unpleasant feeling for sure it's it's like one of the worst feelings you, you can ever get in my opinion um, it's it's like I guess I guess the way that I can put like how bad it feels is if I leave my facial hair growing for too long I'll, I'll be I, I can grow a full beard right and it sucks, but I, I can, and a lot of my uh, my, ma my male friends are, are envious of me, I'm like, take it, dude, you can have it, <laughs> I don't want it, um, but I, I can grow, like, a full beard, right, and, uh, if I'm feeling lazy, and I'm not, like, shaving that full beard off, um, then it'll get to a certain point where I start to feel bad about it, right, I have a bit of a beard right now, and it's, it's starting to get to that point, but it's not quite to the point that I'm about to describe yet um, but uh, when 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 I'm, when I'm leaving my beard going for, for just a little bit too long I'm leaving that facial hair kind of building up a little bit too long eventually it gets to a point where I start feeling like suicidal over it like like genuinely I'm, I'm I actually like look myself in the mirror and I'm just like what's the point of my life like this I'm everything sucks my entire life is just falling apart I just want to die. And then I, I, I shave. And I'm like, man, life is so good. Life is like, life is the best thing. And it's just like, just just getting rid of that that, that feeling of like dysphoria that I, that I get when I look in the mirror and I see the, uh, the facial hair at, at that extreme um, is like the difference between like majorly depressed, hey, you should probably go see a therapist, and like, wow. You're like the happiest person I've ever seen, <laughs> and it's 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 just a, a stark difference. Anyway, um, so she was she was asking why I don't shave every day because she gets those feelings about uh, about like uh, you know when she sees body hair or or whatever other kinds of uh, of stuff, right? Whatever it is that that triggers it for her, and I'm um, like I don't know. You know, back back in the day, you know, like a year ago when I cared more about this stuff like yeah yeah I uh, I definitely wanted to, to have my arms shaved and my, my hands shaved and every all the body hair just just get rid of it and you know it was a it was a feeling of dysphoria but but for me these days it's, it's not so much a feeling of dysphoria for for body hair anyway for the facial hair as I've explained it can it can get to the point where yes <laughs> there is definitely some some pretty nasty dysphoria kind of happening uh, on that but for body hair no, it's just like normal feelings of I don't want body hair. If that makes sense, like it's not dysphoria. It's just like I don't I don't want it. 
you know, like 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 a cis girl, a cis gendered girl would would look at her body here and think the same thing. Is is kind of how I feel about it. I just I see my body here and I'm like, yeah, I should probably shave. Do I wanna? Nah. I can just put on like a long sleeve shirt. <laughs> I actually wear primarily tees. Um, but when I go outside, I typically put on like a sweater or something like that. But it's not dysphoria about it, you know? Like, the, the, the feelings of dysphoria outside of uh, if I like really just let myself go for like. Like, it takes like a month and a half, two months to get my, my facial hair to the point where I'm like suicidal over it. And I recognize that it's the facial hair causing it, and instead of like, you know, offing myself, I just take off the, the hair, you know? Get out of here, dude. Um. But, like, uh, you know, I don't, other than, other than that, I don't really get dysphoria anymore. Like, like, I'm, I'm pretty content with where I am in my life. And that's, that's kind of something that, uh, happens over time. But I think it's nice to, to be content. Because I can still remember those days of not really being a, a angsty teen about it. But, like, um, hey, no. Um... But uh, those days of, of caring more about these things, and I don't think that it's a bad thing to care about them. I don't think that, uh, you know, I'm in the right and she's in the wrong. I think that uh, I just have lived longer, and she hasn't lived longer, and as a result, um, the little things matter more to her, and that's okay. Because um, kind of like, it's, it's, uh, it's true of a lot of trans people that I speak to, it's just... Uh, at, at the start of your transition, you get your you get your hormones, and you're like every single day you have to take your hormones. You miss your hormones for a day, and you're like you're crying over it. And you're like I missed my hormones, or um, you know, you're like shaving every day, and you're like oh if I don't shave for one day I failed, and uh, then like two years later, I didn't take my hormones last night. I was too tired, dude. I didn't want to take my hormones. I, I didn't want to take them. I was too tired, so I just skipped it, and. Uh, I, I I don't shave all that often. I'm just like whatever, dude. Who cares? Like the the feelings of dysphoria are gone, and they're and they're just replaced with feelings of like normalcy, and it's uh, it's very 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 nice to to eventually get to that point. We actually hit him in the head with those grenades, huh? That's pretty cool. He's replaced with like feelings of normalness, of like normal unpleasantness, you know. So like if you're not super into taking care of your like body hair normally once you start transitioning you're, you're probably gonna have a period of like my life depends on this and then go back to like I don't really care <laughs> the, eventually you just kind of fall into uh, like just a, a general sort of goodness territory and, and everything kind of works out nicely but Anyway, I don't really know what the point of this is. Short of cash. I just thought it was funny that she was uh, freaking out about my hand hair. I'm like, eh, I have hand hair. It's okay. If I'm ever going on a date, I'll save it, but nobody's seeing me now. <laughs> it doesn't matter. But if you ever see me with shaved hand hair, you know dang well that I was seeing somebody who I wanted to not see my hand hair. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> because I don't care otherwise. Anyway. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Don't, like, stay here, dude.